Welcome back to DeFi, DGEN's Drip and Farm for Poverty, where on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished by helping you find financial freedom through crypto assets. If you like the mission, you resonate with the vision, and you find this content useful, please subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up. Hey guys, welcome back to DeFi, DGEN's Drip and Farm for Poverty. So as you all already know, especially if you're looking to get in or you're following the Forex ecosystem, the animal farm has been delayed, or I should say just the pigs token, pig pen, uh, piggy bank has been delayed because the rest of the farm is already delayed because the dog's part. But anyway, um, and you probably are already aware of the updates from Forex, but just in case I'm gonna read though, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but basically, so they were supposed to go live at 1 p.m. They he had been up for 48 hours. Uh, essentially, he opened up the front end, the front end being the website itself, to the ReapDAO members to do some testing on that. And uh, he wanted to make sure that it functioned correctly. They had done all of the tests on the back end side and says everything is good to go there, but they uh, wanted to test it out with actual users from the front end. Uh, and apparently um, it was taking longer than they thought to get the crediting data parsed to each wallet or something to that effect. So he's delaying it again. Uh, Forex is hellbent on having launches in the middle of the day. So even if they were to finish um, after 1 p.m. or let's say after probably four, he'll push it to the next day. And so as of right now, it's pushed until tomorrow, well, depending on when you're watching this video, um, basically uh, 12, 1 p.m. or so tomorrow. Um, he tried, he reassures everybody again, 100% confident, tests will go over smoothly, there should be no other delays, blah, 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 blah. But main thing is he doesn't want to release in the middle of the night, and that's that. Now, when I woke up this morning, uh, now about five hours ago, um, I was got to be admit, I was looking to see if the uh, farm indeed had become unpaused because if you've been in this space with Forex for a while, you know that his one big flaw is that he cannot stick to deadlines um, and there's always something. So I've learned to just take those deadlines with a grain of salt and not put too much emphasis on them because if that be the case or you put a lot of faith in it and then it, something happens in your expectation, uh, if it doesn't meet your expectation, then instead you're upset and then everything just goes downhill from there. So I'm much rather or focusing on uh, just being surprised when this launches. So I got to admit, yeah, I was um, a little upset when I saw it at first. And I was like, wait a minute, there's no sense in me being upset and coming on here, which I've already seen a lot of other YouTubers express their sentiment and things of that nature. And some people haven't even put out any videos on the content because it's like, yeah, what do you say? So I know there is a lot of emotions going on and the main point for this is for me just to uh shed some light because yes you're entitled to your emotions your feelings all that good stuff right everybody can are uh, is in this um in a different light of how much they could risk and what they're waiting on and all that and even though like i've said in other videos they we tell you not to risk more than you can afford to lose um it's crypto and everybody's getting in here and has their perception of when they would like to see a return on their investment, as well as how the project should go. And unfortunately, um, crypto is not a well-oiled machine and there are all sorts of uh, delays, expectations, things of that nature. So what I wanted to mention is some stuff that uh, came to me in light from some of the Tony Robbins events that I've um, uh, attended. And he has one of these quotes, uh, where your attention goes, energy flows, uh, this other one where focus goes, energy flows, it's all the same thing. Whatever you focus on is what you get. Um, all this boils down to is um, you have to control your reactions to things. So you can't control the outcome. So like none of us have any control over the launch of the animal farm. That is literally 100% up to Forex and his team. But you get to decide on how you will react to the news, i.e. the delay, that is coming up and that's 100 percent within your um your response or your field so to speak uh most common is like if you ever travel anywhere that has traffic 
you can't control the traffic, but you can control if you're stuck in it, how you respond to the traffic. Is that a time for you to listen to an audio book and um, expand your knowledge on a topic? Is that a time for you to uh, contact someone on your hands-free mobile device and catch up with an old friend and express gratitude for people? Or is it a time for you to just get pissed off and bang on your steering wheel and honk the horn at other drivers? <laughs> it's up to you, right? But the point of this is you get what you focus on. So if you focus on the negative of the situation you're in, you're going to see more negativity and every other bit of negativity that comes your way is going to make you even more and more upset. So for example, Again, back to that traffic analogy, you get to uh, you're, you're coming up to a stop uh, intersection with a stoplight and the light's green and then it turns yellow, then red and you don't make it through. If you've been focusing on negativity and being upset, that's going to just add to your frustration. Right. But if you're like, oh, great, now I have more time to finish this book I was listening to or carry on this conversation, <laughs> then you just change your perspective on it. So. Um, it's easier said than done, but I think that is super important to understand that we are totally in control of our emotions and our state and how we respond to um, external stimuli. Um, and this one is another one from Tony Robbins. A decision made from fear is always the wrong decision. So that's in reference to what I just said about controlling your response. So in this, you can be totally upset and angry at everything and then all of a sudden decide to listen to the other fear in the space and this is a rug pull and forex is a scammer or whatever people are saying and you can then decide well screw it i'm gonna start taking out my profits on drip or i'm getting out of this or whatever the case may be but if if you're doing that based solely out of fear not out of um, the education of the space and listening to the other AMAs and seeing Forex's track record. That's why I have that video now on uh, facts about Forex or fun facts or whatever, because I am going into the catacombs. I want to understand this person's mindset, who he is, what he's built, what has he done, um, what other people are saying about him. So that when things like this come up, I can then understand it better because as of right now, we don't know what the delay is. But let's just say um, he mentioned his other AMA with Crypto Mischief that his uh, nephew is there. His nephew's 10 years old. Let's just say something happened with his nephew and all of a sudden he can't launch. Um, he didn't tell us that. And all we see is the delay side, but something legitimately could come up causing an issue. And, you know, everybody has real life going on besides just what we see. So you get to decide whether or not you're going to hold him to the coals and burn his feet at the fire, or, hold on, that's people selling stuff outside my house. So like I said, hold his feet to the fire and, um, and burn him at the stake, or you know, realize that you know, there are issues, he is human, and it does suck, it doesn't negate the fact that you may have your money tied up, you may have taken off from work, you this, that, and the third, that's fine. I'm not negating any of that, I'm not saying you should just be happy-go-lucky and sunshine and rainbows but you you have to decide what your decision will be and you can't make an impulsive decision from fear um because again you got in it when it was euphoric or you know uh up here or something like that or who knows i don't know when you got in but i'm using the drip chart because uh we can't look at the big start um but if you got in then you got in either out of fear which was already the wrong decision or you got in because you did your research and if that's the case then you just got to kind of take a step back and evaluate and kind of wonder um, what the best thing to do. And for me, the best thing to do is look at the project that's been performing for a year. Yes, it may be down, but that's why I made that other video about what I'm doing with uh, the Forex ecosystem. I am doubling down and getting more and more drip because I've run the numbers. And even if it goes back to these floor levels, I still can make profits and the contract is immutable and i believe in the developments he will add to it but even if he doesn't add any more developments i know that these prices here and these opportunities um with just its own utility by itself will support itself um so that's what i will be doing if drip gets down to twenty dollars 
then I will be buying more. Right now, my dollar cost average price, I think is like $30 or so. Um, I could buy more at 24, but I already bought some at 24, so I want to buy at 20, <laughs> just because I want to say I bought at 20. Uh, so I'll be waiting on the sidelines. But the, the point I'm getting at is you have to decide what you're going to do with the um, result, meaning what has happened. Um, you can't change it, you can't go back, you, you can't undo what's already been done. So you have to decide how you will respond to it. The chat is currently still paused because he doesn't want people um, spreading FUD and putting up scams. There was a lot of scams, I got some scam messages. Um, but what will you do going forward? How will you react to this? What is your you know, response and how will you play it? And all I can encourage you is to focus on ensuring that when you make a decision, you've already stepped away, calmed yourself down, and you're doing it from a place of calm and uh, an educated response, not just out of fear or listening to the naysayers and things of that nature. Um, so just some food for thought, I'm trying to show you guys where my mindset is. I'm not infallible. I do still get emotional on this stuff. And uh, especially when you're talking about money and stuff like that, yes, people's emotions are tied to that. And that's exactly what charts actually reflect. They reflect emotions. <laughs> um, that's, that's all it really is. So um, I'm just trying to show you guys how I'm looking at it and what I intend to do. Uh, you have to make your own decision, but all I can do is encourage you to step back, not make a decision for fear. And if you are fearful of this project, um, then instead, and you still want to be in the Forex ecosystem, then look at a project that's performed well. Um, you may look at this chart and say that that's not well, but the fact that it has sustained itself, it hasn't rug pulled, this hasn't been paused since I've been in it, I don't know what happened back here, um, then this is something to look at. And uh, whenever there are announcements that are made, this was, uh, um, if you go to the, shorter time frame whenever their announcements and uh they talk to this with other youtubers and stuff like that this does always tend to pump quite well i don't know how to change to the 15 or one hour on numix uh nomics but anyway you get my point so um i think drip will continue to be here but again you have to do that decision and, and look into it and make your choice on that um I don't know how soon these other utilities like scratch offs, loot NFT, blah, 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 will actually take place. But all that you can do is control um, where it's at, your response to it now, and look at how it's performed and what you think it will do in the future. I'm trying to add Drip to a utility for a project I'm working on. I kind of launched it, um, did a soft launch with you guys trying to promote my health and fitness. But I'm also partnering with other health and fitness coaches because I want to create a unified wellness platform where people are incentivized to get healthy and i will be using a portion of that the proceeds um, when i launch nft and put them into drip so that I can pay people out so in my personal space i'm going to be completely supporting drip and bullish on drip and build utility on top of it but that's no time soon <laughs> um it's still in the very beginning stages of it but that's why i'm bullish on this because i see it as being a sustainable platform by itself adding things to it just make it that much more sustainable and the stuff that forex wants to add will help the price but even by itself that's where i'm putting my focus back on so uh that's it in a nutshell uh i know it sucks seeing this down right now um all we can do is just wait I'm not even going to say cross your fingers for it to unpause tomorrow. Just sit back and wait. And if you need to, just step back. Don't even um, get in or watch the charts or get into the telegram because all you're going to get is more negative sentiment from the bulk of people. Or you're going to get the opposite, which is a bunch of um, moon boys, uh, drip maxis, which is fine. I, I encourage that. You need people to support your project. But you won't find like middle ground information <laughs> so one way or another it's going to skew your perspective and skewing it toward positivity is always great um but you you need to just step back is probably the best thing you can do just not be involved at all and just get away from it if you are finding yourself in a space of fear all right guys that is it for this video uh i hope you found it helpful as always lift daily and achieve your impossible see you guys